Williams pulls it down. So for Cleveland, their last game, a win against Orlando. And the way they attacked the basket in that game was unreal. I mean, after a while, the defenders seemed to just wave the white flag. Yeah, like you said, I mean, that's what will happen when a team continues to attack the basket and come away with layups. The defense tends to get demoralized and deflated. Over to the left wing. Here with the ball, Williams picks him up. Murphy can't hit. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Irving passes to Williams. Hits it from three-point range. Williams has got 45 points. Well, they're not afraid to just let it fly from here. They didn't have as much success in the first quarter, but with this lead, they're looking to extend it with the three-point shot. It's Murphy outside. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Murphy's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Raptors. Right side, Williams. Another three for Cleveland. And started hot, and he's only gotten hotter. Raptors trail by 12. Outside, Lowry. Oh, and here comes Williams all alone. The fast break ends at the rim with a jam. And how about a little bit of showmanship there as he increases the lead? Oh, I like that. That's got to be, though, a tough pill for the defense to swallow. Well, he's a guy that you know can hurt you with his passing. And right there, he does some damage with his finishing, too. And it's good. Ball through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X factor. Some changes for Toronto. McGarry's checked in for Terrence Ross, and Alec Burks subbed in for Kyle Lowry. And then for Cleveland, Smith comes in for Paul Nelson. And Shumpert in there for Irving. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Come along, sir. As we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close, guys, and we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third quarter started. Wow, this game just a commanding performance for Williams, and he's unleashed a barrage of three-pointers on him. Yeah, and Clark, you can tell they're good right now when the ball leaves his hand. He has racked up a ton of points. Cleveland leading by 18. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. So for Toronto right now, they've got Tristan Thompson. Alec Burks is out there with Lowry. Then it's DeRozan and it's McGarry in at center. That's good. Really just a tremendous day for him. And if you remember, he was just as good in their last game. Passes it to Irving. Back to Williams. Puts it up. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Williams has got 55. Oh, it's scary because he's just been a matchup nightmare in this game. He's eaten up anybody they've thrown at. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Kev, Freak, in the last matchup against the Magic, boy, was he tremendous. He had 61 points, as he usually does, really knocking down shots from beyond the arc. Absolutely amazing numbers from him in what was truly a memorable performance for him and for us, Kevin. All right, thanks so much, Doris. What a great report, and what a jaw-dropping performance that was, guys. Uh, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I mean, he's given himself a hard act to follow here tonight. You know what? But as good as he was, it's hard to think there won't be at least some sort of carryover effect, guys. I mean, he still has to be riding pretty hot. Lowry kicks to Burks. DeRozan against Irving. Here's Williams. Open and close and nails it. Williams has got 60. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Lowry with the ball. Guarded now by Irving. By himself. And it's Williams with the jam. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at either end. Steals, fast break buckets. 
and the other team scrambling to find its game. Great point. I mean, that aggression has allowed them to just create a lot of havoc. And boy, are they taking advantage. And the foul called on three. Toronto's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Outside DeRozan. Williams comes with a double team. And Murphy kicks to DeRozan. Cranes the three-pointer. DeRozan's got 20 points. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. Outside Williams. Fades back. That one a little long. Almost no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, there were a lot of other places he could have gone with the basketball instead of forcing that shot up. No good from Ross. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. The drive by James Shumpert. The shot no good. Ice D from DeRozan. Raptors trail by 19. Dishes to Burks. It's rebounded by Cleveland. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. And this collapse we've seen by their interior defense, it's really the reason why they've struggled and are in such a hole. Murphy with the ball. Now Jack defending. Williams comes with a double team. Pass to Burks. Tries from 10. And Baines pulls it down. Baines has got his sixth rebound on the night. And Jack kicks to LeBron. Williams for three. Good, and the assist goes to James. LeBron's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. And he got loose from the three-point range in the first half and showing signs here that he's still got the flow in the second. Burks can't get it to go. Well, he, he gets it in close, but you have to credit that stifling defense for forcing the miss. Exactly, Greg. I mean, defense like that really increases the degree of difficulty on that shot by a large amount. Wright dishes to Burks. Murphy against Shumper. And the basket Adam. by Murphy. Murphy's got 13 points. That was just a perfect possession, getting it in tight for the high percentage shot. Kicks to Williams. And Jack, here we go. Williams can't get it to go. Toronto's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. And the basket by Murphy. 15 points in the game. 40 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Right. Right against Williams. Tries from 10. That's good. And really, it looks like he may just try to take this thing over on his own and really build that lead up. To the middle. Ross, that's good. Ross has got his third basket of the night right there. 20 seconds left in the third. On the wing, Williams. There's the three. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. 70 points for Freak. Well, he scored over half of their points so far. That's a major contribution. Got a piece of it. And here we go. Jack heading to the hoop. And it's Williams finishing it off. And that steal paid instant dividends. No wasted time or motion getting out on that fast break. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Cavaliers ahead. Just done. And I can't quit. All I know is. And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final the teams deciding to change it up. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. So on the four for Cleveland. 
Williams, he's in at shooting guard. Paul Millsap out, the out there with Aaron Baines. Then it's Kyrie Irving, and it's LeBron in at the three slot. Ross passes to Lowry. Six on the shot clock. Here's Burks. And the Raptors miss again. Defense better watch out. They better be alert, because this guy can make threes, as we saw in the first half. Williams gets the bucket. Boy, you got to love that assist by LeBron. The Raptors have gone five of six from the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Back to Lowry. He dishes it to Ross. That ball's nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. And that's now 10 points now for Terrence Ross. James kicks to Williams. That three off the mark. Raptors trail by 20. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They gotta find some, you're right. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Cleveland. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. Yeah, and also the way they've been able to generate points off of the turnovers that they forced tonight has also helped. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Toronto. Outside Williams, now the dish to James. They set the pick. Back to Williams. And the three ball is good. And the Cavaliers lead by 21. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge, Greg. And when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Burks can't get it to go. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Irving dishes to Williams. Again, the Cavaliers score. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this. Drops in the breakaway layup. Williams has got nine points in the quarter. And you know what? This guy is just a natural born scorer. Lowry drawing the double team. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. They're locked in from the charity strike this half. Not a miss yet. And trying to cut into this lead, they need every edge they can get. Daniels, he's checked in for Aaron Baines. The Cavaliers leading by 23. LeBron passes to Williams. And the powerful one-handed slam. And the defense out of position on that possession, which allowed for him to get that offensive board. Well said. Yes, he did. You're right. That's a tremendous jam on the putback. What a great nose for the basketball he has, and such a strong finisher as well. Chris pass into the paint. Boy, a good night so far for Thompson. He has nine rebounds and one assist. That free throw good from Thompson. Cleveland's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Irving kicks to Williams. Launches it. Shot is off. The Raptors have gone seven of ten shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Cannon dishes two to Rosen. Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Cleveland. Cleveland leading by 22. Williams attacking. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. And that fella can flat out fly, can he? Reminds me of a young Greg Anthony oh, out of UNLV. Goodness. No doubt about that. <laughs> just look at the elevation he climbed to right there. Kevin, you just made my knees hurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what sets him apart from so many other point guards in the NBA. And the Raptors shooting at 52% from the field. They're clicking. DeRozan with it. He's picked up by LeBron. They double him with LeBron. And the foul called on Freak. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. Well, fortunately for him, it really doesn't matter. 
So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy.